Money laundering is one of the major threats to the stability of the financial sector worldwide. Actually, the United Nations estimates that between 2 and 5% of the global GDP is actually laundered every year. That's up to 2 trillion US dollars. And a very small fraction of it uh, is, uh, is identified. Now, there's a reason why this risk uh, is specifically challenging, uh, including an ever more global economy, which makes traceability of the money more difficult, the immediacy of the payment, uh, technology that allows now to pay almost in, in real time, a silo approach to regulation and, um, and policy, uh, but also the pressure of uh, financial institutions to reduce the uh, cost. Now, uh, it is true that in the last years, the united effort of uh, financial crime agencies together with regulation and the financial institutions has improved the picture dramatically and financial institutions have invested heavily on both improving their organizational structure, clarifying responsibilities, creating specialized centers of excellence, clarifying uh, the decision-making uh, process, investing in technology and the deployment of new um, tools, improvement of the business processes, specifically the individual risk assessment and the sector and uh, regional uh, risk assessment. But specifically, if there's one thing that has changed the dynamic is the investment in data and advanced modeling, the building of mathematical models for transaction monitoring, section screening, customer risk assessment is making the identification and management and monitoring of these risks much more uh, effective. This newsletter reviews both the context from a regulatory perspective as well as the changes that the organization, the financial institutions are making to improve their tackling of this risk.